So because I need to moisturize my skin, I am going to use, okay, I'm going to go in with the Touch uh, Water Cream, if you can see it. Okay, and then I'm going to take some of the Super Goop, oh, you can't see it. I'm taking the Super Goop Daily Moisturizer. This is the SPF 40 plus plus plus. This is the Super Screen, okay. If you need a moisturizer doubled as a SPF that doesn't turn white on you, this is it. Anyway, hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ohima, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. Okay you guys, so you click this video because you saw that I had ColourPop foundations, okay? Not concealers, fun. the concealers are coming. I went ahead and I bought some of the concealers because I want to try it out, okay? But you heard that I have the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation, okay? It says a hydrating foundation with skin perfecting medium buildable coverage for natural, healthy looking skin. Everybody wants that healthy skin. Every single person wants healthy skin. Also, since we're on the subject and I'm just going to keep doing this, my nails are press-ons once again, okay? And these ones are from nail expressions by alicia she is on instagram these are custom made so i don't know if she'll be willing to recreate these for you you guys know that i love a good orange and gold combo and these are just like right up my alley like <laughs> colourpop sent us the sample sizes of these so we can swatch it and see if we can find a shade that way they will send us like the full of product so instead of sending us like six full size products they sent over sample sizes for you to try out find your shade that way they can send you the full one okay thank you colourpop for not sending me the entire range because you know <laughs> i can only literally realistically swatch out and try out the last three shades possibly only finding myself within the second to last shade and if the shade is if the range is not really that good then i will be the last shade okay and they also sent over their new makeup sponge this is the pretty fresh complexion blending sponge so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna swatch the foundations for you guys and if i find one that i can actually use i will use it my history with ColourPop foundations have been I love ColourPop foundations. I love the finish of the foundation. Except the shade the, sh the shade range in that foundation and we will go ahead and do a wear test and see what it's all about. Seeing that I have oily skin. Now if it doesn't work, I'm just going to stop the video right where we are at and that would be the end of it. Okay? Okay. So, I have the the three deepest shades over here. If you can see it, can you see it? The question, the question is, can you see it? Okay, so we have 215N, 213C, and 210C. So I'm going to start with 215N. So this is 215. First impressions, I feel shook right now. It's not super bright red, you know, like all the other ones I have swatched before have been super duper, 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 duper red, like ridiculously red. This one is not so red. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously, seriously shook right now. I want to blend it in so I see what it does. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I am gonna swatch. Mm, CC cream foundation thing that was dropped was so red on me. I will link both of my ColourPop foundation videos down below so you can see it. But those guys were so. Mm, it was it it was not gonna work out. Okay, but this though. Oh, ooh, ooh, the shade, two thirteen C. Okay, so this is 213C. And I'm going to swatch the next shade, which is 210C. Warm, but this is already too red. 
these two shades at least you can't really make it any warmer than this i can't swatch any other shades than this because it's not going to translate on my skin tone so i'm gonna leave it at this okay so on my face i have i have 215 n i have 213 c and 210 c i feel like i could i could probably get away with 213 n okay so i'm really i'm gonna try it it doesn't look so crazy it's a i feel like it's a little too red depending on whatever angle but I, i'm gonna try to blend it out and then i can see what it looks like i did not expect this because all my other ColourPop foundations that i have swatched have been so 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 red my last video i ended up having to wash my face and use a completely different foundation because it just was not gonna work for me this is looking like it might work so i'm gonna i'm gonna try we're gonna try it out this is the color pop pretty fresh hydrating foundation shade 215 n okay. Okay, I'm gonna blend in this foundation as well as I can. I may have used too much. Okay, this is not exactly my shade. And it blends in very nicely. I definitely used too much. Okay, you guys, so this is what that foundation looks like on. It looks slightly red. A few more shades and we would be golden. Like a few more shades and I feel like it would definitely match my neck way better i feel like it would match my face way better it would look better in general you know like in my opinion uh but this is what this looks like once again i'm really loving the finish that's coming through i'm gonna use the sponge that came in the set and i'm going to pat this in a little bit more because i feel like i use too much and this way i can get rid of any excess foundation that this is the deepest shade so if you're someone who's deeper than me and doesn't have an undertone close to this you might not be able to use it i can't use two 213 or the other two shades so this is the only shade i can use but i feel like if ColourPop came up with other shades that were like in between the last two shades and also deeper shades than this it would be really really good because i can actually go deeper if i wanted to so for today we'll be using the fenty beauty concealers and this is the shade 480 this is 480 and this is 490 so this is what my skin looks like with the concealers on i have a little bit of the 480 in the inner part so this is my finished look with the ColourPop Hydrating Foundation. It's actually been about an hour and a half. <laughs> I will leave and come back in about two more hours and we can see how... Okay, you guys. So right now it is 5.38 and this is what my makeup looks like. I have had this makeup on since I want to say 12.30 but i did blot my face a lot and well i actually blotted around my mouth a lot and i feel like the makeup moved around here and that's like the only thing right now my oils are starting to come through my face is looking glowy and it's taken this long because i did blot my face with a lot of powder as i was going so that's why you see it looking like this however it is not bad from what i from what i saw i feel like my smile lines came through a lot because i was smiling a lot and also my uh and the makeup that moved from over here but that's about like what i noticed and i kept having to blot because my face was getting oilier and oilier or shinier and shinier of course the foundation is a hydrating foundation that doesn't mean it's a dewy foundation you saw how it dried down it is a very beautiful finished foundation and i am happy that it actually got this results out of it instead of getting like the really really red results out of it um 
That being said, it would be nice if ColourPop extends their shade range. That way I can have like a deeper option and also anybody who's deeper than me and also anybody who's deeper than me can have a deeper option um, to use. But besides that, the foundation finish is really nice. If you're someone who can find your shade in the line, I would definitely try it out because it has a beautiful finish. Um, but the shade range could be deeper. And of course, also, if you're going to make it deeper, please make it less red, you know, because <laughs> we're not Oompa Loompas out here. Yeah, that's it for me with the ColourPop hydrating foundation review slash wear test this is me blotting my face like every i want to say like every 30 minutes so it looks really really good still thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below in the comments what you thought about the shade swatches the shade range and also how that shade looked on me thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye